start with this. Hey, Robin. Good morning. Hey, Artie. Hey, Fred. What's Benji. Hi, guys. Benji here on time. Yeah. That's my man. <laughs> Taking his job seriously. Artie like here. Thing. Artie here. <laughs> Benji here. Present. Shall we take roll? Yeah. <laughs> it's a tough side of the room over here for Howard. I, uh, I guess I'll start with this. You know, I, I've been holding on to this for a while. It's no, no big deal, but... All right, I'll start with something else. I'm having trouble because there's so much on my mind Hmm. that I'm having trouble starting the show. There's multiple things going on in my head at the same time, much like a serial killer, you know. Wow, I'm into the voices. It's like a roulette wheel in there. Yeah, these voices. (laughs) I hear them. I hear them calling me. I'm psyched. Round and round she goes. (laughs) I'm psyched to hear it. I'm hearing the show, but you're not. (laughs) (laughs) Would you let us in on it? All right, why don't I let you in on it? (laughs) First of all, one of the things that broke over the weekend, one of the big stories was that Robert Schimmel, the comedian, was arrested. Oh. Do you know about this? No. I don't know anything about this. Wow. What's no. going to come out of your mouth? Oh, yeah, <laughs> what was he arrested for? Uh-oh. Well, you know, he wrote a book recently uh, called uh, Beating Cancer, First Five Dollars a Day. What was, what was the name of his book? Do you remember? I don't remember the exact what, name. Is that, a, is that a newer book? He didn't he, I don't yeah, know, he whatever. Book, uh, I remember what you're talking about, but... It was uh, well. He had an HBO special. It says, "So first you beat cancer, and right, then, right? And now it's and then you beat your wife, allegedly." So he was arrested for a domestic dispute where he was claimed that his wife might have been abused. Oh. But what was so fascinating about the whole thing was that uh, every story in the newspaper had you know frequent guest on the Howard Stern show, Robert Schimmel. And uh, that's okay, you know, that's fine. Yeah, you can't get into trouble for that. <laughs> but by the time, by the time it got to television, it was uh, the the newscasters going. Robert Schimmel was arrested for uh, beating his wife. Now, I guess a lot of people don't know who Bob Schimmel is. You know, now that you think about it, right? So they have a big picture of me with oh. Bob Schimmel. It's, it was like it was. It looked like the story was Howard Stern got arrested for beating up his wife. Oh, that's what and it your wife like. is Bob Schimmel, right? Like it's a picture of me and Bob. You know. <laughs> Like, all of a sudden, Bob finally got on the news, and it's for beating his wife. And guess who's got a big pic? It's just, I'm telling you, it's not a mistake. You have a curse. Like, they, like sometimes you'll see somebody, someone said, oh, that was a guest on the Oprah Winfrey show. They don't show a picture of Oprah and the guy. It's really weird. It was almost as if they were trying to somehow make a connection between me and a wife beating. Almost like he learned how to beat women on the show, maybe. Or <laughs> that you're an advocate, and he learned it from you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there, was, there was some subtle message in all of it. You know what I mean? There was you some. See? It was weird. I wish I had the TV report, but I don't think JD has it ready. It's always like you see being with that Howard. Look at what happened. Yeah, like you see, he, he's for beating women, and now Bob Schimmel's done it. So let's blame Howard. I don't. It was just weird, you know. And the story was uh, stand-up comedian Robert Schimmel was busted for allegedly beating up his wife. TMZ reported Saturday. The X-rated funny man was being held on fifty thousand dollars bail after cops were called to his home in Los Angeles. And found his wife roughed up. Ugh. Schimmel, 59, is known for his off-color humor and his battle with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which he chronicled in his new book, Cancer on Five Dollars a Day. That's what I thought the book was called. He divorced his first wife, Vicky, three times. Then married his daughter's best friend, Melissa, who is half his age. They have two children. It doesn't sound like he's out of control. Wow. I was going to say, can't you arrest a guy for divorcing a woman three times? And then marrying his daughter's best friend. That's unbelievable. Yeah, he should be arrested. You're right. <laughs> yeah. So then, they, But there's a big picture of me standing next to Schimmel on the news, which, I, which is really weird. Like, put a picture of him and his wife. Not a picture of me. What have you got to do with any of this? I don't know. Beth and I had words last night. Uh-oh. We're, we're thinking it might have been our first fight. Oh. We wow. <laughs> we're the police called. You had words? No, no, nothing, nothing, on the, nothing, nothing on the level of shimmel. I just yeah. left the room. I didn't hit her. I wanted to throw her out of the window, but I didn't hit her. Oh, you have restraint. God. I do. Right, right. I do. I hear you got to do that with broads. And we just had like a really beautiful weekend. Like, you know, we had a nice time. We had dinner together and all this. And Beth's writing a book. Right. You know, um, and so she has all these files on the computer and and Beth kind of halfway knows how to use a computer. Like, like she doesn't know a lot of the stuff you can do. She just wants it to work. Do you two have separate computers? Yeah. OK. Yeah. So she was working on her book and all this. 
all weekend. And, and she'd call me into the room every, you know, 15 minutes to get something set up. Like, you know, gee, I don't know how to use Microsoft Word. Right. I don't know how to save a document. And she's writing and she's working hard on it. And she's doing a lot of research and, and constantly on the computer. And so... You know, whatever I'm in the middle of doing, I was trying to help. So I, I even created folders for her to make it easy and do all these things for her so that it would be a simple process. Uh -huh. And I thought, you know, we were having a very loving weekend. In fact, like I made sure, you know, we watched movies together. I even watched, you know what I watched with Beth? And I, I you know. Not we, the divine no. sisterhood of the yah ya pants. No, that something. was me, Robert. I'll show you what a good. <laughs> for a chick who didn't bang me. But I'll anyway. show you what a good husband I am. Okay. <laughs> I watched uh, Bride Wars with Anne Hathaway and Kate Hudson. Oh! <laughs> I wouldn't even watch that. Sat there, watched it, held my wife's hands. Oh. You know, and Actually, you like movies like that, so stop you know, it. We were complaining about halfway through, Kate Hudson, horrible actress, this one terrible, <laughs> blah, 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 horrible story. <laughs> we're like, we're loving it at the end. You're watching the whole thing, right? We, lo we loved Kate Hudson. We loved Annie Hathaway. We loved the whole thing. Uh. So uh, we were enjoying Bride Wars. <laughs> wow. But anyway, I mean, so, you know, I'm spending time with my wife and... That's above and beyond the call of duty. You know what? It wasn't such a call of duty. I enjoyed I'm it. I'm telling you, he, that's not a call for <laughs> him. No. If I didn't like it, I would have left. <laughs> it was fun. Kate Hudson was a lot of different outfits. Right. You well, know? that's hey, he, I'm a guy. You enjoy it on a number of levels. Yeah, I, I know that I enjoy these movies, but on a different level than my wife does. You're like, thinking, you know another name for this movie could be Kate Hudson's ass. <laughs> you know, I'm watching the Kate Hudson movie, and I'm thinking, hey, you know, I could have gotten her. Yeah. I was, right. at, a, I was a, at a party at Rick Rubin's house, and Kate yeah. Hudson was there. It was before she got famous. Mm. I knew she was Goldie Hawn's daughter, and we spent the whole evening sitting and talking on a couch. And it seemed like there might be some vibe. And then she said she was coming to New York, and we were going to meet wow. up, and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, she met that drummer from, or whatever, the singer from Counting Crows. Chris yeah. Robbins. Yeah. I met her in I mean, person Black once. Black Crows, Black Crows. Yeah, I, not Counting Crows. Yeah. I met her in person once, and she got her mother's ass, man. Yeah. Ooh, fuck. Attractive girl. Yes. Though. And, you know, but, but, but nevertheless, so don't let me get too sidetracked here. Right. No, you're, you're off Bride Wars and into Yeah, so Beth else. was busy working on her book and this and that and the other thing, and and, and she was kind of cranky all weekend because, you know, I said to her, are you okay writing this book? She goes, yeah, yeah, no, I'm enjoying it. But I could tell she was cranky because I was playing a chess game on Saturday night. Uh -huh. Mind you, I'm in the middle of beating a guy who's ranked 18, over 1,800, way really? over 1,800. Oh, yeah. my goodness, you're in your glory. I'm in my glory. And <laughs> the game ran long. It was a, a long game. Well, you and can't beat an 1800 in two seconds. No, I mean, you come can't, on, right. my friend. That takes time. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was pretty exciting for me, and I was having a good time. And, you know, I was running late, and, you know, we usually have a couple of drinks at 7 o'clock, but I was, I was running into it. So oh, I said, so it ran over the cocktail. Yeah, so I said, I was a half hour late. I said, it's going to be another half hour, and she usually doesn't care. Oh, but I, gosh, I Thank you. I knew she was, like, annoyed with me because I was playing chess, and I knew, I said, this must be the book stuff, because she normally wouldn't even care. Right. She was like, well, you know, I got ready, and I'm ready. And I was like, well, well you know, what is this? I, I can't predict exactly when a chess game is going to be over. And yeah. She was busy, and I started the game at 3 o'clock. The fucking game took, like... You're kidding! No, it was hours. <laughs> Bride Wars was yeah. longer than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, so I knew she was, like, being snippy with me a little bit because of this book thing. Which, you know, I wish she wouldn't write a book, honestly. Oh, stop. I really do. I mean, I'm I not really, I mean, it doesn't do me much good. It doesn't do you much She's good. She's talking about donating most of the, pro or some of the profits to charity. And I went, what the fuck would you do that for? Uh, I, it's unbelievable. After She's, all this hard work. Yeah, I mean, you're going you're gonna to make me crazy, and you're going to donate the profits to charity or some of the profits? I don't know what the deal is. She's a better person know. than me. Yeah, all right, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, and authors tend to be snippy. Henry Miller, I believe. Yeah, well, yeah, you read a lot about those guys. <laughs> anyway. Actually, you should leave them alone. <laughs> right. She's very passionate about this, and, and, and I, you know, I got respect her for doing it, and right. she's working hard on it, and it'll be good. But so, you know, I'm trying to be helpful every time she calls me over the computer and tells me, "Uh oh, I, I, you know, this is a Microsoft Word. How do I save my document? How do I save? How do I?" So I, I said, look, let's get our computer guy on the phone. Let's talk it with him. Let's go. No, 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 no. Just show me how to do it. Okay. So last night, just working on the book, 
I was playing a blitz chess game or something. I was doing you're some... back to playing chess. Yeah, I am. I'm back. <laughs> now that but, I'm winning. But you you won, and then did you win the 1800 yes, game? Yes, I did. I oh, won. wow. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Good for you. <laughs> Take a bow. <laughs> and even like when I came downstairs and told Beth, she was like, I don't, you know, like she didn't even care. <laughs> like, like, you know, it's a big deal to you. She was like, I don't really care. And I was like, I was like, wow. I mean, do you have to be so snippy? I know that's like a big just deal been, for just, you. Yeah, it was like a big deal for me. You know, I was like, wow, I just put in four fucking hours beating some guy. <laughs> You're late to cocktails. Yeah. Get out of and, she was, and I just said, you know, there are many times that you're busy on a phone call with North Shore Animal League. I wait, and I don't care. I don't fucking get crazy from it. I mean, I was doing something. So then... So I'm pretty sure we're in a fight. So you tell me. It sounds like you it. sound like you're in a fight. But this was nothing. I mean, that blew over, and we had a great time, uh-huh. and had dinner, walked a dog, the whole thing. That was Saturday night. And so, so last night, I even uh, we we went out to dinner. We get back. She starts work, working on the book again. So I go in my office and I'm doing my thing. And she's like, every minute, oh my god, oh my god, you got to come in, you got to come in. So I said, okay, I'll be there in a minute. I walk in. And she said, um, I, I, I have a Microsoft document. I, I, I don't know if it's saved. I said, okay, let's see what you did. Show me how you saved it. So she saved it. I said, okay, it's saved. You can close it. So I, I said, let me do it. I close it. And then all of a sudden she tells me nothing was saved. I, but I saw that it was saved. I don't know what she did. <laughs> I, so, you know, when you're doing something like this, if it's important to you, you make a change. You see that it's saved. And then you continue. You don't do two hours worth of work. And then... She did two hours worth of work and then was worried whether it was saved or not. Oh. If you're worried that the saving mechanism isn't working, you should save it, like, like do a test save or right. something. I mean, I don't know. I walk in, I said, you hit save and it's saved. I don't know what's going on. So then she started accusing me of erasing her material oh. or not saving it. And I just said, you got to be kidding me. Oh I said, what, what? I said, I'm no longer involved in your book. Don't, oh, you're don't. in an old-fashioned fight, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 all of a sudden, I was being accused of erasing wow. her material. Right. She drew, your, drew you right she in. She drew me right in, sucked me in, and then said, well, you erased everything and yelled at me. And it was like, <laughs> how dare you? I was like, oh, my God. And I was fuming fucking mad. I oh, was bad. like, you got to fucking be kidding me. You're going to pin that on me? <laughs> D- d- take responsibility for your work and learn how to work your program and save your fucking material. <laughs> I stormed out of the goddamn room. Ooh. And um, I don't know. It was like close to 930. I had to go to bed uh, and uh, she was still in the bedroom working. I walked. I said, I got to go to sleep. So uh-huh. she cleared her stuff out and I laid down. Now I'm all upset because right. I'm not how even clear if she's coming in to sleep. Yeah. or she, So she didn't come in to sleep. She slept in another room. And um, no, now it's like it. now I'm looking at the clock. Uh-oh. It's like ten thirty, quarter to eleven, and I'm not sleeping. So I, I grabbed some tissues. I jerked off. Right. Oh. Good idea. Oh. Good this idea. A big fight. Oh. That's uh, Robin. That's now a good you're idea. Angrily jerking. Off. I tugged on that stupid piece of taffy between my legs. <laughs> and then that I that God uh, put there to make us yeah, it was really, living hell. Down it was here. really weird and like oh. we didn't talk this morning. Beth uh, wrote me a note, you know, and and but but I mean, it's just like. Oh, that's nice. Though she wrote you a note. Yeah, it was nice, but I, I'm I'm still kind of angry. Oh come on, let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Yeah, I will. She's tense from writing a book. Yeah, you know, but I don't want. I want the book over. Her, well, you can't make the book be yeah. over. She signed a contract. Yeah. Unfo- so like, I, stop I'll it. I'll pay the off the contract. Oh, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> I'll pay her not to now write the book. Now you're talking like me. No, 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 no. Because no. that won't solve the problem. Yeah. That will not solve the no, problem. No, no, really. no. That will make the who problem wants, worse. Who wants to read a whole book? Oh, Jesus. Oh, you're By bad. the way, this is you're the forward. You're such a bad person. This is the forward. Don't do this. This is the forward and chapter one. Imagine when we get to chapter 10. <laughs> well, she's done a lot of research, though. Yeah. She has all kinds of. Uh, Hmm. Files, I asked her a question the other day, just, you know, because I knew she knew the name of a certain vet Mm -hmm. because I had a friend with a problem. She sent me a whole page of references. Yeah. Well, yeah, she's She's done incredible research. Great. Wonderful. You You know what? You should be proud. She's working really hard. Do a radio show, you know, ask the doctor type show and people. I mean, what? The book is going to make her nuts. Look, books are difficult. You know this. 
Yeah, well, you want to know something? I'm out of the book business with her because <laughs> I told her, don't ask me anymore for help. I'm, I'm, I don't know oh, the well, answer. If you can't no. be a supportive helpmate, no, I can't. you should divorce yourself at least from yeah, the book. Don't use the word divorce, Robin. <laughs> no, I'm getting another divorce from the book. Oh, uh, yeah, good. I'm divorcing the book. Howard, by chapter four, you'll be throwing money yeah, at no. You'll say, look, I'll give all the money to charity that you were going to get. <laughs> no, but she has to complete this book. If he does that, he'll be I like understand. you alone. No, so. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> she was asleep. Thank she was asleep this morning, and then like I was like, and then and then it was like I know she was up this morning, like hearing me plodding bumbling around, moving around, like stomping, bumbling, <laughs> bumbling around, but like didn't say anything to me, and it was well, just ugly. Oh, stop it! It was you ugly. Two are, are just mm. being cute. That ain't close to ugly, man. That's mildly unattractive. You'll yeah. be. I don't be think fine. he could get to where ugly is. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's yeah, not no. a, <laughs> But I mean, it just—it was uncomfortable, you know. I understand. Like, of course, it was uncomfortable. But you—you you see what happened here? Well, she just got a little stressed. Yeah, but she pinned it all on me, and, and but it that really wasn't, upset me. Take it easy. You're no. taking that like it's a real thing. It wasn't real. Yeah. It was it real to me. Uh, no. You know when Drambo says to, uh, he goes, the one was real for me. <laughs> it was real for me. You oh. weren't there. You don't know what it was like. <laughs> okay, okay, Rambo. We, we, we shed our blood. Uh. We come back. Call us baby killers. Spit on us. It was real. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I, get, I feel your pain. God, that movie had to piss off every Vietnam vet on the planet. You asked me to save the document. <laughs> you said you didn't know how to work Microsoft Word. I By came in. The foggiest idea who he is. I saved the document. <laughs> I saved the document. Uh, I, don't I know. told you. Me of erasing it. You saved me, me. What are we supposed to do? What kind of my crap? <laughs> you right click it and you save it. <laughs> You take your mouse and you right click it. I gotta go to sleep. You know that. <laughs> now I'm pu- now I'm sitting here in bed pulling my taffy, <laughs> doing all kind of vile crap, thinking about all kind of things. I don't want to watch Pride Wars. You ask me. Watch Pride Wars. <laughs> Having dinner, <laughs> doing everything I'm supposed to do. I am in the files. You are so the files. I for cocktails. I beat an eighteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> and then you tell me I can't save a document? Uh, now I'm watching Kate Hudson and Hathaway. <laughs> what, do I, what am I supposed to do? I want to kill myself. <laughs> Sit here, all kind of vile shit. Watching Pride War. Now Don't you're writing me notes. <laughs> it wasn't my war, it was Pride Wars. <laughs> hey, Jerry, you're on the air. Oh, my God. Uh, I feel bad, Howard. Uh, sounds hey. like uh, Kooky Pies is out of the box. No. Oh, come, come on. on. Stop what? that. It's my what wife. What does that mean? Kook, kook the kook. This is, this no, is she's under stress. Stop it. Oh, you're a the nut. Swirl, the the, the all the anger. It's coming. What <laughs> anger? What is he talking about? <laughs> yeah. know. You know what's going to make you feel better, Howard? Help. Honestly, yep. you and Beth uh, tonight should go on Stern Fan Network. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the place oh to that'll be. fix everything. Yeah. Sounds like Jerry's recently divorced. I, I think yeah. he no, knows no, no, of no, some no. anger. This same wife twice, and uh, this is, oh, I get yelled at for what I did, and it, <laughs> it's got her messed up. Come on. Wait no, a minute. Man. You same married thing. the same woman twice? Of course. He's like Dominic. Did yeah. Dominic, did, was I dreaming or did Dominic mention the other day that he's dating Leslie he's again? Dating Leslie. Mayday, Mayday. Uh, by the way, dating Leslie again. Goodbye. 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 Mayday, Goodbye. Mayday. Mayday. Yeah. Mayday is right. Yeah. Get her straight. Tell her uh, this shit of running around during the week. All dressed up, partying, stay home, take a computer class. Right. Open if you're writing a book. All right. You guys. Hey, you Jerry's guys. right. No, Jerry's right. Jerry Howard's agreeing right. with Jerry. <laughs> Jerry's Jerry, got a point. Jerry is is going to get you into trouble. <laughs> yeah, he Probably. is, man. And Jerry wants to get you into trouble. <laughs> Don't pin it on me. Take a computer class. What do you want? Hey, hey, Jerry is going to get you into trouble. Jerry's right. Well, let's see. You can go out tonight or you can take a computer All class. All right. Be right. Be right. Go no. ahead. All right. Jerry's, you, Jerry. pressing, Jerry's pressing a lot of the right buttons. Sounds really loving. <laughs> sounds Just like I, be right. Sounds like I could live with Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you will be. <laughs> <laughs> ask all my friends. What, Jerry? Just ask all my friends. I beat them down, too. Everybody hates me. Come on. Uh, I don't hate you. 
Oh, he's God. agreeing with you. We love I'm, you. I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's my buddy. He's out of his house with all my good advice. So, see? You know. You yeah. could see me next week and watching Bride Wars with Jerry. <laughs> you there you go. Yeah. His best friend listened to him. He's out of the house now. Yeah, but he's right. <laughs> he's living with it, too. All right. All right. Hey, Thank thanks, you. Jerry. Bye. I uh, I met an old friend of mine uh, last night, and I said, how you doing, man? And he goes, I'm living in a basement apartment. I said, what happened? Did you get a divorce? He goes, yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Cut into half his financial assets. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> right. Uh, I don't, you don't know what to say. Do you hug him? Or, and he was happier to be out of the house. <laughs> was, you know, uh... Well, anyway, so that was my way. So, like, now it's this weird thing where Beth and I haven't spoken. Well, you know what you should do? What? Go home and say, you know, it's okay. I love you. <laughs> I don't do that. I know. I'm I trying to, to tell you something that you should do. I have to make... be able to do. I have to make um, some points first. Oh, oh, boy. You and your points. Go home, Howard, and say, you're you right. I erased she, those documents. You think she doesn't feel bad about all this? You think I don't feel bad that her document got erased? I felt awful. Of course you but do. She, like, she, she beat me up over it. But you're going to keep it living. You're going to mm-hmm. make it real. Yeah, I think so. Oh. I'm pretty sure. You know what I would do? <laughs> sure you're going to yeah, do that. I'm pretty sure, despite your good do advice. You have, do you have an appointment today with your... Uh, yes. Mm. Oh, good. Talk it over with him. Not first. bringing it up. Oh, wow. you're an asshole, then. That's stubborn. You're an asshole. It's none of his business. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're going to take care of this one yourself, huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll handle this in my own way. <laughs> Here's what I would, you know what I would do, Howard? I would, uh, I would get really lit and go erase everything on her computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't know how close I came. I had visions of throwing that computer right out the window. Oh, wow, look, look, sweetie. Yeah. Look Ooh, what I did. Oh, sorry. I did it again. I'm so clumsy. <laughs> then I realized we're up like 30 floors, so it could hit someone in the head. And Why? you could really be in trouble. Right. No need to have someone die. Well, then he like it'll hit Jerry. Oh. Yeah. Well, anyway. That's it, like, you know, once I was having a fight with somebody, and I took my phone, my cell yeah. phone, and I threw it across the room, and it broke into a million pieces. Yeah, and who, who like, suffered? I you. said, now you can't talk to me. Yeah. And then I said, and now I don't have a phone. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. I've broken shit. <laughs> Yeah, and then I started going through. I go, you know, uh, I bought that computer. <laughs> you know what the key part of the story is, though, uh, that puts her above other women, I would think, and I know this about Beth, the fact that she wrote you a note so quickly, I, I mean, that's a big deal. No, she tortured me last night. She knew I had to get to bed. She left uh, the room. Oh, and, really? and, like, and it was hard for me to get to I've been up since 11 o'clock. I'm tired now. You know, no, nah, no, nah, there was there was a lot of anger. There was animosity. Yeah. Uh, uh, look, Wasn't so, getting were... a note in the morning and I'm exhausted is ridiculous. Right. <sighs> You know. All right. You know, that wasn't right. It's very easy from here to tell what people I should understand. do. Hey, listen, you kidding me? No. <laughs> I'm very good at quarterbacking this. Everything's yeah. great in life when we're sitting in here. Didn't you and your last boyfriend break up uh, I was gonna, that's and you were exactly, talking to him or something? That's exactly yeah. what I'm saying. I'm good at this vin, uh, va- uh, vantage point, not no. while you're in it. Oh, you're life like, is great when we're in here. You mean you're like uh, Kirstie Alley on Oprah, who uh, like she comes on and goes, I couldn't believe this. Did you see Kirstie Alley and Oprah? I saw her. I didn't see her. I have the tape JD gave yeah, me. Yeah, I didn't what see What happened the whole with her? Thing. Well, she came back fat. Well, the, the kicker to the whole story is she tells Oprah at the end of the interview, by the way, I'm starting my own weight loss uh, line. Oh. Can you imagine? Is that the time to start it? I mean, the woman can't, the woman is a disaster. And my father used to tell me this when I was a kid growing up. He goes, you wait, he's all the fatsos write diet books. He goes, they're all on their way to well, being at fat. Least, at least she's doing it while she's fat. She's fat. Yeah. <laughs> so that others, you know not to buy it. The others get thin for 10 seconds and then write. Yeah. We didn't really argue, though. We, I just left the room. Mm. Well, it's not an argument, but you had a fight. Yeah. Yeah. Beth's calling this our official first fight. She called it that. Wow. Yeah. She goes, I think we might have had our first fight. I go, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty, You're sure. pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is a fight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're voting yes. Yeah. This I'm was on that uh, one. this was Ali Fraser one. I, I know I walked out of the room going, "What am I doing? <laughs> 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 what is going on here? Uh, what did I do wrong? How did I fuck up? <laughs> yeah. Now I'm the one who erased her book. Uh, great. Leave me out of. Th- I said, never ask me again. Leave me out of this with the book. You know. But don't start making declarations. That's a no-no. 
make any declaration. Yeah. You know, did I make a declaration? Leave me out of it. Don't go. Don't yeah, I said, listen, book. don't uh, don't start in with me. I said, listen, I was trying to help you. I don't know. You hit save. I've done it a million times. That's how you save. And, if, and before you do two hours worth of work, make sure it's you know how to do it. I don't know. That makes sense did to me. Did you say that? Yes. Ooh, ooh. I said, you got to sit down and have a oh, game plan. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. I said, you got to know how to work your equipment. No wonder oh. she got uh, angry. No, she wasn't angry. <laughs> yes, she was. She was angry because I had a, She goes, no, you, you, you yeah, erased Yeah, but my... that didn't help you saying, well, you should know. Yeah. That's but, right. Uh, uh, take again, responsibility. Don't pin it on me. Take it easy over take there. Don't start arguing with me. Uh -oh. take, take responsibility. Don't start arguing with me. Mm, well, you're annoying me. <laughs> you know what? In Goodfellas, Henry Hill now goes... I know why, I, now I know why guys aren't living with you. Uh, you, fight, you. You have a ridiculous way of fighting. In Goodfellas, Henry Hill goes, uh, you know, what is it? Every broad in my fucking life. What's going on? <laughs> it's getting to be re goddamn ridiculous. You're really annoying to fight with. Well, I'm just trying to tell you the rules of engagement, and you don't oh, want yeah. to listen. Yeah. I, I wish I could have been a fly on the wall when <laughs> oh, you had some yeah. of those conversations with Florentine. Hey, how, how do you save this document? Which conversation I don't know. With Florentine? I just know things got a little dicey. <laughs> I could recreate it. Robin kept going, no, I'm not going to see Sabra Cadabra with you. No, <laughs> no I, know Jim, I know Jim did some things wrong, and you pointed him out, didn't I you? I never, no. <laughs> I'm sorry to cough. He's not organic. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Go out in the middle of the night and get some more? Actually, we never had a fight. Uh, we never had a fight until we broke up. That's what I'm saying. So what happened? <laughs> what did Jim do? Oh. That you wouldn't let go of. Oh. See let's, what I'm saying? Let's see. Go to war-torn Af Afghanistan but or he, have a weekend with Robin. But he war -torn really Afghanistan. did something wrong. He did something wrong. Right? Oh, yeah, and, yeah, you, yeah. and you pointed it out repeatedly. <laughs> no, I did not not repeatedly. Yes, you did. Not repeatedly. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> just once. Nah, she said it once. It just repeated in my head like a loop. Yeah, it, had, it had an echo. <laughs> it's true. Jim ran off to Afghanistan. <laughs> Robin, Even the bombs couldn't drown it out. <laughs> Robin, <laughs> we were in a bunker for 45 minutes. <laughs> Robin, I have to admit now, in Afghanistan, Jim and I did some role playing. I was you. <laughs> <laughs> and can the har. No, no, Artie, you gotta be more vicious. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh... Anyway, it feels weird to have my first fight with Beth because now I'm uncomfortable and I hate that feeling. You know, it's just like it's shitty. I tell you, dude. Well, you, of you, uh, course it is. You are good at radio, man, because you're honest. That's uh. I, I, you know, you're being honest right now, which is fascinating. Yeah. But uh, you know, it, great. It, I, I, <laughs> I'm so happy to have brought you this. <laughs> yeah, I know, but uh, it'll pass. It'll pass. Well, if if you know. Well, I would talk about something else, but that's what's on my mind. I would imagine so. Yeah, it's not even good radio. It's just that I. No, I, I think it's fascinating. It's just blocking everything else out of me. But uh, you know, this is an opportunity. This is a great opportunity. To do what? <laughs> to do what? To learn how to get through a situation. Yeah, well, I, I thought you were going to say to get her to stop writing the book. No. no. <laughs> I would do anything to get her to stop writing no, this book. No, you oh, cannot on, do no. that. That's the first thing you can't do. Because she needs if you to do stop. that, mm. if you do that, you will be saying something to her that will destroy your relationship. What am I saying by having her stop writing the book? I mean, I can't stop her from writing the book anyway. Of what, course what, not. Right. But even the idea, the thought of it that you would want to, you would be saying, don't do anything. Thing. Right. That's what I want to say. <laughs> but you can't yeah. do that. Just be with me and be no, happy. She has to fulfill herself. I've never seen her be like um, unpleasant. This was this book is making her unpleasant. I know you've always said that yeah. she's the, like the most yeah, pleasant she's very and even never keel. upset and doesn't get anxious or or concerned about anything. Yeah. Now she's all anxious, and but she this won't is admit it. A lot it. of pressure. Yeah. She won't even admit it because she was like, I said, I, I said, by the way, this was over the weekend before the fight. Uh huh. I said, you seem a little uptight. You know, is this because of the book? No, 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 no. But, you know, that isn't even a loving thing to say. Right. No, I, no, she was really, she was aggravated with me every minute. But why are you, you know, just like, what can I do for you? I did. I did everything. I was running up and down with <laughs> no, the computers. did you ask her? I did. I did. did. I said, you need my help. I said, you want me to do something? I said, yeah, show me how to do this. I said, I can make it easy. I'll put a folder on your desktop and blah, blah, blah. And I did all this. Uh -huh. 
I mean, I'm, I'm a great guy. I'm telling you. Believe me, women wait for a guy like me. <laughs> All right. I'm sure. I'm a fucking catch and a half. Uh, I'm sure. Let I'm me sure. understand I something. I see though. the line. She, didn't accu- she doesn't think you did that on purpose, does no, she? Right. No. Okay. But, but she claims that she told me not to say, not to close the file. But I, there's no other way to, 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 check to, it? to check it. Right. Because what, <laughs> what would be a real deep-rooted thing is if she senses hostility from you about her writing the book and she thinks you did that on purpose. That would be crazy. No, 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 no. no. I would never <laughs> do that. I wanted to help. Right. Uh, she called me in to help, and I, and I did my best to help, but, you know, it didn't work out. I don't think you would, but I'm mm. saying sometimes in a fight, you know, a woman's no, mind might no. go there. She didn't, I don't think that's what she was implying. I would be the first to use that if I, if I thought that, but no. Good. Use it. In this conversation. You are just a mess. <laughs> Use it. You're a mess, too. <laughs> I am trying. You have a wonderful relationship. Yeah. And I don't, don't, don't want to see you ruin it. I won't. You sure? I was perfect. I didn't fight. I didn't fight. I left the room. I knew I was going to get nasty, and yeah, I just left. Yeah, but now, what are you going to do? Mm. Are you going to, like... I'll uh, be fine. Don't worry about it. You sure? It. Yeah, I'll You're not going to be up. still casting blame and... A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll need to get my two cents in before <laughs> the fight This is ends. what I'm saying. You yeah. you know this is her being stressed, not anything you did. No. She uh, blamed me for re- erasing her book. Yeah, but... <laughs> oh, you're terrible. Howard, Erase you know what you got to do? Meanwhile, it was like 20 changes. Big deal. Go back and do it. As brilliant as that call is, I have to yell at Sal today. I'm, what? Oh, my God. He's such a turd. What happened? He's such a douchebag. It's unbelievable. And I love Sal, but boy, oh, boy. It's just every step of the way, every time I try to love him, I can't. So, you know, Beth and I had that fight. And, oh, you know, well, yeah. Did, Did Sal, put do in, Sal put in his two cents here? Well, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. Let me tell you the whole thing. I can't You'll love this. So, Are you kidding? He got involved? So Beth and I had the fight. Beth didn't hear the radio show yesterday. Right. And, you know, so... Oh. Oh, no. So anyway, <laughs> like you can't wait. What did he? So do? I was out all day. I had stuff to do, and I didn't get home till about uh, five thirty. Right. Because we we had a screening of Star Trek, which I'll talk about later in the show. And you know, I don't want to get sidetracked with what I thought of the movie. Right. Uh, suffice to say, there's a five star review in the paper today, and I don't even think that's enough stars. I know they ran out of stars. Oh, it's like, the, it's like the greatest movie I ever saw. Oh, it is the greatest yeah. sci-fi movie for sure. It really? Is, yeah, yeah. It is so good. Oh, I'm glad because uh, JJ's a good guy. I, if I could have last night strangled <laughs> Sal, I would have, but he was nowhere near me. I just went. He's such a Sal fucking couldn't shit. Couldn't enjoy the Star Trek review. <laughs> he's such a fucking shithead. What happened? It's just like it's like he's an incredible shithead. He's dumb and he's a shithead, but he makes those great Every funny phone calls. Every time you think he's finally righted himself yeah. and sort of no. yeah. figured out things, he shows you that he really hasn't. Well, what no, is the one of the qualities you need? First of all, to make he's those retarded. phony retarded. To make those phony phone calls, you need to be funny. Sounds funny. But you also need to be a little off, man, because you gotta be you gotta be a pain in the ass jackass. That yeah, but he stop. knew. But he knew even like Auschwitz teeth would be funny. Like, I, I mean, know. Yeah, he's, he's a funny he's, guy. There's some intelligence behind those. He knows calls. something. Yeah, I understand. Anyway, so I had a long day, and it was kind of weird because you know Beth and I really did have our first fight, and it was so weird as the day went on. Like Beth, you know, had written me a note, mm-hmm. and then after the show, I wrote her back a note saying, you know. I feel I, I said this is just she had apologized to me. She said, you know, I'm never going to ever let my, you know, my limited uh, knowledge of computers ever get in the way of our relationship. She goes, I just got frustrated and I'm right. writing this book and I got, you know, I just got frustrated. So, you know, me like during the show, I was like, I want to tell her what she did wrong and blah, 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 rub it in. And afterwards, I just wrote her and I said, you know, oh, I feel awful, too. I had a terrible night. I couldn't sleep. And. I didn't tell her I jerked off, but, no. you know, and <laughs> no need. I said I couldn't sleep, Sal and, did that. Yeah. and uh, I feel really sad that, you know, we had our first fight, and so, uh, and then during the no- day, we were writing each other's no- other notes, she goes, I'm not, I'm not going to go to Star Trek, I have some stuff to do, she wants to f- look at this lamp she wanted to buy for the apartment, uh-huh. and I said, uh, okay, you know, she goes, unless you want a divorce, and I said, uh, oh, no, God. you know, we were having jokes, and <laughs> yeah. everything was back to normal, and right. everything was fine, and then I came home, and I saw her, and... Isn't it great in a relationship you know, when, uh, unless you want a divorce, it's still a joke? Right. <laughs> yeah. That's a good time. Yeah. So, you know, and then we kissed hello and all that stuff, and I wrote JJ a note about Star Trek as soon as I got home, and then uh, Beth and I grabbed some dinner. 
So we're at dinner, and it's really lovey-dovey. It's like, oh, it was so silly. I said, you know, all I wanted to do, honey, is help you. And I, I said, I look at disappointment in your eyes. And she says, enough already. We don't have to talk about this, blah, 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 blah. So we're sitting at dinner, and she has her phone there because she's waiting for This is, again, with the book. She had a um, message she was waiting for on her text message. Uh-huh. Well, all of a sudden, she goes, oh, I just got a, um, a, an email from Sal. Oh, no. Oh, I go, what? So all of a sudden, he goes... So here's his email. I said, you Like ha- in the evening, it pops into her. While we're eating. Wow. Yeah. So his, this is late in the day. Everything's so now, been great. Everything's great. <laughs> we forgot. We decided not to talk about the oh fight. My God. Everything is calm now. It's like it's over. How could he she be hadn't heard, this dumb? She hadn't heard anything on the radio. Nothing right, right, ticked right, right. her off. It was just, it was fine. Everything was just great. And we were sitting there and having, you know, talking about our day and talking about things that we needed to talk about. So then Sal's email comes in and she goes, oh. Did you did you discuss this on the air? I go, what, what are you talking about? He goes, oh. Beth, sorry to hear about the save option. He, he's talking about, you uh, remember the, she... The, the, yeah, right. Yeah, he want, I, the, the whole argument was about that I went to save her document, the Microsoft uh, uh-huh. Word document. Yeah. I hit save, right. and then, you know, it didn't save. Right. And she blamed me. Beth, sorry to hear about the save option. One time I was editing a movie for my son's birthday, and the same thing happened to me. I'll give you some advice that has worked well. Put a post-it note that says click save and stick it on the corner of your monitor as soon as you sit down for your projects. Not only will it help others, but it serves as a great reminder to yourself to click it for your work, too. Good luck, Sal. So now my fucking head is steaming hot because I go, first of all, she goes, what did you say about this on the radio? So either, so in other words, in her mind, it's one of two things has happened. You've either well, talked about it on the radio or discussed it privately with Sal. No. The it, latter's not it, it was an obvious, option. Right? Yeah, she knows the latter's not an option. <laughs> and then I'm sitting there going, she starts to get angry because, it, and I start to get angry because she didn't hit the save. Forget her hitting the save. I hit the save. So he's basically saying I did something wrong. I forgot to hit the save button. Now now I said to her, isn't this fucking ridiculous? This fucking moron. Who I, knows nothing, who about, knows what, nothing yeah. about what happened. Didn't even listen to what I said on the radio properly. I hit save 900 times. The save didn't work. The save function didn't work. Now Beth's getting heated up. Oh, no. I'm getting heated up. I go, that fucking jackass did it, doesn't even listen to what the fucking argument's about. I, he's basically saying, I didn't hit save. Right. She Nobody goes, hit save. Yeah. Why? Can you leave my wife alone? Can you leave my life alone? Can you just stay out of it, you fucking idiot? No and then one you brought else. It up. No one else did this. Why do not, you have to write her? one person. And I, and, I, and I didn't tell her I discussed it on the air. I didn't want to get into it. I was just trying to be nice. That's all. Yeah, it but, was you, just... but, it, but, but Sal, I told you, we hit save. That wasn't the problem. You can send a post-it note but to your Well, friend. Howard, if There's you click 50... save... Hold on, Robin, I'm sorry. Sal, if you... both my wife and I watched each other hit save. It was because it was embedded in a Lotus note that it didn't save. Okay. Get it reta- but, but retard, here's what we were talking about now all over again because right. of your email. But it was with I good intentions. Need, no, if you want to do good intentions, give me... Okay, I'll give you uh, the no. advice. But you okay. don't talk to me. She yeah. does. And then write me a note, because okay. I'll just take it and delete it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Howard, you're missing something. <laughs> you won't save it? No. You're missing something completely. Sal's life is a wreck. Right. He doesn't have time to deal with anyone else's life. Well, then Beth got heat up. She goes, you know, not to say anything, but isn't it great how Sal wants to help me out after he was the guy in some comedy club fucking calling right. me names yeah. and, t- and, t- yeah, and well, calling me an asshole? It's called moving on, and we're getting yeah. along great. And well, she's been great she, to me yeah, as well. She's do me been a favor. Don't, a lot don't of help her. Please. All right. It's, it's just amazing out of all the people in the world who you want to help, you want to help her. I want to help both yeah. of you. Do me a favor. I got it under control. All that right. was the point. Your, your, your message was retarded because in light of what we said, it wasn't that we forgot to hit save. Right. Save wouldn't work when it was embedded in a Lotus Note. I've never heard of that. But. Yeah, I, I hadn't either. That's why I thought I saved it. Right. But I hit, we, the whole point was I came into the room and hit save like 20 times before I closed it. But you have to admit it. Stop! Don't write I'm, my wife. I'm not. Stop it. I'm telling you something else. You have to admit yeah, that. Yeah, but your note is exactly what I'm talking about. It misses the fucking argument. We hit save. It wasn't a question of hitting I, save. We hit save 50 times. I got it. It wouldn't save. I know you've never heard of it because you're a fucking genius. You fucking cocksucker. 
Stay out of it. But why are you involved in their lives yeah, anyway? Right. No yeah. one else here thought to write them a note. This no one is else here cared enough. Business. All, all I know is it's not no. of your no business. Doug Her- <laughs> First of all, no one else here cared. Doug Hurwitz Doug Her- Her- wrote a note. John Hine wrote a note. Guess who they sent it to? Shit night. Shithead. Guess who? You. Right. Not Beth. That's they send it to me. Well, that's who you're care dealing about with. That's and what who I did you was, deal with. They don't I de- care about that. I deleted the message because, it, again, we, we didn't want to go back and find the document. She had redone all the work. <laughs> well, I won't write her anymore. Right, and I'm sorry. Thanks. You and know what? Was, Guess what? Guess who doesn't write your wife? Guess who? who Guess who, who am I thinking of that doesn't write your you. wife? You. Right. You know why? Why? It's none of my fucking business. Stay out of my business. I don't want you in my life. Okay, I'm not I'll really work in with your you, life. but I don't want you in my life. I just did. Something. I'm sitting at dinner. I got the whole thing done, and then your email comes in. Hey, you got to admit though, it's your show. You did bring it up. You're, uh, huh? Twenty million yeah, people. I brought it up, and you didn't even listen. That's what's even more insulting. Because I'm busy doing. It wasn't things about busy. hitting the save button, shit, well, Stain. That's what that's what originally caused yeah, the Sal, whole argument. Sal. I know. I get it completely. And, oh, and I and won't you're write so it. So brilliant. You put a post it on your your you d- computer. And, and, you're such a genius. I'm not. She saying, hit save fifty fucking times, and so did I. Was it a problem with that? You know, don't forget to hit save. We hit save. You know what reminds people to save stuff? The word save. Yeah. Right. right. And that's what I said. It. Put the word save. Yeah, put the word Sal. save. It on the computer. We did. Computer. But Sal, the issue wasn't whether we forgot to hit save. We hit save. We okay. hit it 50 times. We were so paranoid about closing the document. I'm with you, And pal. guess what? I'm and eating I felt dinner. Bad. I'm past it. And your email comes zooming in, man. And it was just a nice about, gesture. Yeah. And you want to know it something? Wasn't it wasn't. Mean. Number one. Send it to me. I don't will. write my wife. You don't have a relationship with my wife. My wife well, thinks you're insane. <laughs> she wouldn't be around you unless I give her permission That's to. True. Because she says to me, tell me, is it okay to go near Sal? Is he fucking insane? I go, he is fucking insane, but you can do this. Thank you. I know about this, and there'll be plenty of people around. You're like a caged fucking monkey. Well, I wouldn't go Who I would far. keep in the cage and throw some peanuts to. Stay out of it, man. All right, man. I just stop writing. You had a, you know, I, I, if you would you listen to what I said, bad. it had nothing to. Well, your advice had nothing to do with what we were arguing about. You're just what trying happened. to insinuate yourself in his life. That's exactly what you're trying would to you do. Would you do me a you favor? Don't give a fuck. Would you? Uh, go this over is to, coming from somebody who took advantage of an eight hundred dollar bottle of wine. What advice have you given them to save their fucking marriage? <laughs> oh, I have to take that bottle and bash it over about, your head. Why would you know about saving a marriage, you asshole? They're why would you in trouble, Sal? Sal. Why would you know Believe about me, it's that? the first sign. No, it's Sal. the first sign trouble. of many. Sal, yeah. put a post-it. Oh my God. Sal, put a post-it note on your computer that says the word asshole on it, <laughs> and that'll remind you every time if you <laughs> think you're not an asshole. <laughs> that's Sal, your asshole. Sal, if you I'm gonna send that to your oh, wife. That's great. Sal, uh, if you had called me last night and told me you sent that email, I would have said, okay, this is what you have to do right now. You have to send Benji an email begging him to be late tomorrow. Right. <laughs> but anyway, no, Sal. Seriously, can of you, course, can you not absolutely. Say, no. Don't, please just don't send her any email. Not one. If you want her to do show in the hallway, send through it you. to me. Everything or, or, or have Doug Goodstein do it, okay? Okay, not a problem. All right. <laughs> show in the hallway. <laughs> Write a post-it note on your computer that says, save my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, this thing comes He's in. He's going to help you out. Oh, my God. It, it just, it was like. What and guy? Then, and then I go to Beth. I go, that fucking jackass is writing you a note how you should put a post-it that says save. I, and, and I said, and I saved it. She goes, I know you did. I saw you do it. I said, and now he, he's giving you advice that has nothing to do with even what I said. It was crazy. I, I was going berserk. I said, I got sound. What, what human being doesn't know the line between, you know, mm. this is a show. And that's a real marriage. Yeah, well, yeah, and you well, don't know, mess yeah. with it. It's a yeah. very creepy metrosexual thing to do. Like, what really? guy writes a note to a woman saying, oh, oh it's a, not a metrosexual. It's, it's a Sal It's Sal, 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 Sal trying to, to get be in. Part I don't want to insult metrosexuals, Robin. You're right. Sal, Sal but, still <laughs> wants to get tight with Beth. <laughs> right. and he I know, that's what I'm saying. It's, 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 it's crazy. It's going to lead to him hanging out with us in the apartment watching TV. She's got to change her email. And he can't have it. That's the only way he's never going to send her email. No, if he sends her another email, I'm getting rid of him. All right, well. Sal, remember that, man. Benji's late. I'm throwing him out of the studio, and (laughs) and Sal's off the show. I mean, it's insane. He just, he, he's so annoying, and he's so helpful. And he's, this is late in the evening, so he's been thinking about this all day, how to get himself involved. A helpful tip. Oh. Would be to write a save note. Hello, Beth. Hi, Beth. <laughs> one, of, one of my ideas. Is, <laughs> gee, there's Here's an what original I thought. Do. Hey, Beth. Guess who? Mm. 
It's Sal. It's Mr. Fix-It. <laughs> you know what? I mean, in some weird way, Sal wants to be the emotional friend to Beth. That Absolutely. Was, you, know, yeah. I, you know, I know you're fighting, but let me be the common sense. I'm the, I'm the yeah. shoulder, the strong shoulder yeah. for you to yeah. cry Here's on. a strong shoulder for you, Sal, and I'm going to take it because my fist is attached to it. I'm going to put it down your throat. <laughs> Beth, here's another reminder. Put up a post-it that says, save my marriage. Right. Because <sighs> it's in trouble. He's going to help you out. He can't help himself. Worked up again during uh, the commercials about uh, Sal. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. He goes, isn't it interesting that Sal only emails Beth like, he says, first of all, you let up. Sal said something when you were yelling at him this morning that went right over your head. I said, what did he say? He said, well, you won't answer my email, so maybe Beth will. Right. And then, you know, which just shows you. And then, Absolutely. It's all about getting involved. And then, yeah, yeah. And then Gary said, to me during the commercial because it's really interesting. He doesn't email anybody else's wife on the show. He doesn't email Mary. No. And even Jason said, like, Sal's on uh, this one's Facebook and that one's Facebook. He doesn't talk to any of the wives. Right. He's on all their Facebook. He, only Beth. He's I focused told you, on this her. This has nothing to do with anything but getting closer right. to you. Yeah. And then, of course, he wrote that ridiculous email last night, which I won't go into again, but it was just fucking absurd. It's so obvious yeah. what he's up to. And he could care less. There's no goodwill there. No. He's yeah. just wanting to be in your life. He's such a suck up. And then, of course, he has to send an email about what Beth and I were fighting about so, he, so I can start the whole conversation over again. God, but we've talked that? about how inappropriate his friends are in his life. Right. He would like to be that for you, yeah. an inappropriate friend. Yeah. No, I just assume fire him <laughs> so I don't have to have him anywhere near me. He'd like to be your Achilles heel. Sal, why do you write my wife? You don't write any other other women who are married to any guys on this show. I really don't get what he's up to. I, I want to know what his fantasy is. What's the fantasy? Why do you write my wife? You don't write any other wives. You don't write anybody's girlfriend. I don't know anybody else's wife. Yes, you do. I know. Met, you, you, you went to Jason's them. wife's. We, you went to Jason's wife's wedding. I've. 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 Um, no, you haven't. Emailed Jason's mom. Howard, you spent a week in Europe with my wife. Yeah, she's wonderful. Yeah. How come you never you write, don't her? write her? I don't have her advice. email address. Yeah. Okay. I did send her an email. I sent her a picture of her and myself together at. A picture. Uh, uh, yeah, Jason's wedding. Right. I'm I email sure you like that. I email Leave you my wife can... alone. I she's not gonna... interested in you. We get the emails from you. That's we laugh in your at them. Head, not no, we laugh at them. Do you <laughs> notice all of her answers are one word? Great, nice, thank you. That's because you're next to her. No, she just wants to pacify. She wants nothing she to wants do to with pacify. you. Okay, let me say thanks no. to Sal. Do me, so do me a favor, know. honestly. I'm gonna leave her alone. I said it. I know. I know you're paranoid. You're a lunatic. You're so not paranoid. It says you said. Well, you won't talk to me. Maybe she will. No, that's crazy. You said that today. Well, yeah, that's true. You don't reply to emails. You don't right. reply. You're right. very rude that way. It no, bothers a lot of people. I reply to emails that, that are about interested. work. Right. That's but, a strictly for work, my email. I told you that. I, I don't want to have a personal dialogue with you on my email. That's fine. I said, you want to write about work? I'll talk to you all day, and I do. I answer yeah. every one of your emails. That's true on, in, on that case, but yeah. Beth was kind enough to do a couple of things. We're moving on. No, and she was I, kind enough to do it because I said, it's for show in the hallway. It's for the TV channel. Right. Please Thank do you. it. And she did it for me. Yes. Not for you. Okay. For me. I just did a little, it was a little uh, helpful thing. I just so, gave her an so option. So your idea that if you can talk to her, you'll somehow get through to me on a personal level I is don't, absurd. You're thinking that. I don't no, think that No, you at all. said it this morning. I never thought of it till today because you put the thought in my head. Well, you said, I'm, quote, both of you, yes. You won't answer me, so maybe she will. That's true. You wouldn't, you probably wouldn't So you're wouldn't using answer. her to get to me. Well, I kind of felt bad for her. You were the one flipping out yesterday, and she didn't you have her. You felt bad for her. Okay. And Listen, I'm stopped. She's and doing you, just fine. Okay, I know you she don't is. have to feel bad for my wife. <laughs> God bless her. All she's right, doing great. Good. All right. Point is, you don't even like her. You said no, shitty things about that's her. That's in the past. I and now you you're regurgitate busy emailing that her. is wrong. Uh, she regurgitated it. She goes, "It is interesting that Sal writes me, chooses well, me when he's saying shitty things about me." Have we all not had our differences and moved on? Okay, yes, thanks. and I'm doing thank that you. in my life too. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not emailing her anymore out of, no. as a courtesy. You know to what? You. First, get your wife Never. to talk to you, and then talk to my that's wife. That's another story. Okay. Don't worry about. That. I prefer she doesn't talk to me. I, I, right. It's much well, better. I prefer my wife doesn't talk to you either. Okay, thank you. Thank you. How mean wives don't mix. Let's just leave it at that. Good. The only way Sal's never going to email Beth again is if Benji marries Beth.